Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as requested and promised, I am doing a video today on the latest Jeffree Star Skin Frosts. That is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics highlighters for the face and body and whatnot. I have done a review along with swatches of the first four that he ever released a few months ago and these are the latest four to have been released. So just in case you haven't seen my uh, first video, I will just do a little recap they are called Skin Frosts and they come in a pink box like this. It's really cute and cool. Jeffree Star really likes to have pink kind of packaging to reflect his pink hair and his pink theme. And he loves pink. The Skin Frosts are vegan, cruelty free and they are super, super pigmented. They cost $29 each. I paid $29. Unfortunately, this time he didn't decide to do a bundle, which was a little bit disappointing for me because the first time he released four, he did a bundle. Therefore, you pay a little bit less. But this time he released four and he didn't do that. So I had to pay full price, which was, well, obviously it was my choice to pay the full price, but it would have had, it would have been nice to have had the option to have paid a little bit less considering I was buying all four. So this is what the box looks like. I actually just pulled it out of the rubbish because I've got uh, a lot of makeup boxes lying around. And they actually look like this. They're in very strong plastic round packaging and inside you get a really good mirror. It's a very decent quality, very clear. <laughs> too clear uh, mirror and the weight of it is 15 grams 0.53 ounces and they are made in the USA so I do really like the palette pack I really do like the packaging it is very good quality and very durable very heavy and um, not the kind of thing that would easily get damaged and will last you a long time unlike unfortunately the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits and the new makeup geek uh Kathleen Knight's highlighting palette which are in cardboard packaging which if they get wet or if they get a little bit dented and damaged they will eventually fall apart I did show you guys not long ago that my um one of my glow kits has started to fall apart so that won't happen to something like this so what I have found what I have found with these new four the consistency the texture the quality is exactly the same as the first four which is good to see some brands can always chop and change depending on what the feedback is and to be honest I previously gave them a 10 out of 10 and I do still give these a 10 out of 10 I think they are excellent they're very very pigmented they're very soft they're very easy to blend and I did compare them to a little bit to Becca's shimmering skin perfecter press but the Becca ones are a lot more soft they're almost a little bit squidgy these ones are similar and come close to but not are are not completely the same what i do find with these as well is depending on how much i'm putting on i do detect a little bit of fallout when i am applying it to my cheekbones more so i've noticed when i use a fan brush because a fan brush is obviously spread out bristles and you're going like this and then i have noticed sometimes there is a little bit of fallout and they are very very powerful they're very very strong in pigment so you have to be careful as you apply them you have to apply them softly they are not finely milled like becca's and like anastasia beverly hills as well i wouldn't say they're finely milled they're quite thick and therefore they apply that way but you are easily able to buff it in and build up that highlight there is no soft highlight with these even if you go in with a really really light hand you have to go in with a super light hand and then buff it out if you really want it to be just quite a soft highlight but generally these are very very full on but that also means that they will last you a really long time all right so i am now going to show you swatches of these new four skin frosts so this is the first one and the probably the most popular one and the one that was most likely to sell out first due to its unique shade and this is lavender snow as you can see jeffree star likes to place his logo um his initials and whatnot in the center of the palette which does eventually start to wear off but me being how i am and how i like to keep like everything looking cute I just use it around the edges as you can see so this is a silvery lavender shade and it looks like this as you can see it definitely leans more silver than it does lavender and when applied to the face there's definitely more of a silvery sheen than lavender so it's a very very cool toned and very full-on highlight but I do love this I have worn this and it looked amazing this next shade is called deep freeze and as you can see it's almost like a bright 
uh, sea blue shade. I have been wearing, I have worn this and I've worn this on my eyelids. If you follow me on Instagram where I do my face of the days, you would have seen me wearing this quite recently. So please feel free to go along and have a look and follow me. That's where you're more likely to see me wearing all of the makeup that I show in my videos. These are all one swipe, by the way. You can see that they are really, really thick. They do blend out nicely, but a little bit goes a really long way. And this shade is called So Fucking Gold. And the reason it's called that, and I only realised afterwards, is when I put it on my face, the first thing I was like, oh my god, it's so gold. Like, wow. And then I was like, I see. That is why he named it So Fucking Gold. Because it is so, so in-your-face gold that it's just like, wow. And it looks like this. On my skin tone, in all honesty, it almost comes out like an olivey grey gold. But it is still really, really full on. I am going to swatch it next to King Tut as well, just so that you can see the difference. But I really love this colour. It's very unique as well. I've not come across a gold like this. And last but not least, this is the only one that I haven't just, I just haven't had a chance to use yet. And it's called Dark Horse. And this one is definitely a more coppery shade. Just from swatching it, it doesn't seem to be as thick as the others. And I am going to suspect that this is going to be too dark to use as a highlight on me. So I'll probably use it on my eyes. But on darker skin tones, it will look amazing. And just for comparison, I have put King Tut underneath those two gold shades. King Tut is definitely still my favourite out of all of them. It is the most wearable gold. This one, so fucking gold, will make some people look a little bit grey, a little bit dull. So beware when it comes to your skin tone, when you're picking it. Out of all those three golds, King Tut is definitely the best one. So that's it for my review of the Skin Frost. Quite short and sweet, but it's quite self-explanatory. They are very, very good highlighters. I do think that they're very, very good. Are they the best on the market? No, not necessarily, but they are very, very different. Jeffree Star is known for creating different, out there, unique, over-the-top kind of shades not your everyday sort of colors which is fine that is what his niche is and that is what his brand is all about but it's not necessarily for everybody me i like those kind of shades which is why i went and bought these so it's up to you really depends on kind of what your preference is out of all of these i'd probably say my favorite one was lavender snow followed then by so fucking gold but again with that gold shade you have to be careful when it comes to your skin tone when you're putting it on to make yourself not look like a really shiny corpse because yeah, you don't want to look like a corpse, really, do you? Especially one that's alive, right? Yeah, so um, so that's it, really. What else can I say? Um, I'm wearing uh, Anastasia highlights, so we won't talk about that. My lipstick I'm wearing is Anastasia Beverly Hills Catherine liquid lipstick, and I'm wearing Saint Tropez lip gloss on top. And look, I did a cut crease again. I Actually, this was my second attempt. I had to do it again because it came out wonky the first time and then I'd wipe it off and do it again. But I'm learning and eventually when I do get there then I will feel comfortable enough to do a review. There's no point in me trying to impart my wisdom on other people when I actually don't have any of my own just yet. Eh, not wrong, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you're going to get any, I bought mine direct from jeffreestar.com. I will link below how I managed to get US makeup shipped over to me in the UK at a more affordable rate below below through my mailbox other than that i hope you guys are great and i'll see you all in the next video bye